If you love fall crafting, you're in luck because today's video, I'm sharing five simple and easy fall decor crafts that you can make for less than $5 each. And there's Captain. The first project is more like a refresh. I got this sign from Dollar Tree and I just popped the helmet piece right off and then I made sure that my pumpkin shape would fit. Next, I took some distressing ink and with my little sponge applicator thingy that I got from Hobby Lobby, I went around the edges of the pumpkin and then also created some lines on the inside of the pumpkin to give it more definition. I then took some rub-on transfers that I got from Dollar Tree and chose the word thankful to put on the pumpkin. You need to be careful when cutting out the transfer because all of the words are so close together and you just don't want to accidentally cut something that you could use in a future project. I placed the word on the pumpkin about where I think it was going to go. And then I started working on the embellishments on the stem. I add a green leaf first that I just cut from an extra pick that I had on hand and I added a jute twine bow. Everything is looking good so far, so I'm going to start working on the rub-on transfer. And when you do rub-on transfers, you just need to be careful not to lift it too soon. Um, just in case it didn't all transfer over, then you can easily lay it back down and rub some more. The last step is just to glue the pumpkin to the sign, and that's it. I was lucky that the backing of this sign coordinated with my theme today. If it didn't though, you can fix that easily enough by either painting it or maybe gluing down some craft paper. It's such a quick and easy craft that it'll look cute on a tear tray or anywhere in your home. The sign cost me a dollar and I had the pumpkin shape already, but those come in a pack of five or six for a dollar at Dollar Tree and the embellishments were just scraps that I had on hand. So the total cost for this project was about $2. I'm giving this hanging sign that I got from Dollar Tree a quick coat of Anita's all-purpose craft paint in the color pumpkin. Often when I'm crafting, Captain comes to hang out and often when I'm working on several projects at one time. So the wood beads and rings are for two upcoming projects, so keep an eye open for that. I cut out a simple decal with my Cricut. Y'all, for a long time I didn't have a Cricut, so I would either freehand it or trace my stuff. It turned out just fine, so don't let the fact that you don't have one stop you from creating. And thanks, Captain, for <laughs> blocking the view. I then transferred the decal to my wood sign and made sure everything was pressed down. Of course, I distressed it a bit as well. Sometimes I like it when things look new and fresh, but often I love that vintage rustic look. This is such a simple decor piece and I it'll be a nice addition to my tear tray. The wood sign was a dollar and I already had the paint and vinyl on hand. So total for this project for me was just a dollar. I wanted to share that today's video is part of a monthly playlist. The hosts are Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. The guest host this month is Brenda from Rustic and Lace. And I'm so excited to be a part of these collaborations with these awesome ladies. I just love connecting with the DIY YouTube community. The links to their channels as well as the awesome playlist will be in my description box below and I hope you check it out. For this next project, I'm using beads that I got from BB Craft. They offer a program for DIY YouTubers. So if you are one and you're watching this video, check out my description box below for more info. I'm creating a strand of beads and I am spray painting them on a skewer. I found that it's the easiest way for me to paint beads. I give them several coats of paints and then I hang the uh, skewers over a box and this is just a wet cat food box and it seems to be perfect size for that. I put painter's tape on the end of the jute twine to make stringing the beads easier. 
and I create a simple jute twine tassel for each end. And if you'd like me to do a video on how I make tassels, just leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to do that. I love the non-traditional colors on this strand of beads. I think it complements the stronger colors like the oranges and reds that you see in fall very well. And plus, it's neutral enough like you could bring this back again in spring. And if you'd like to check out what BB Crafts has to offer, I actually have a coupon code that allows you to save $5 on orders $40 or more with the code GRAY5. This project cost me less than $2 to make. I used about 30 beads and the twine and paint I already had on hand. Starting off project number four with painting this little piece of balsa wood with Waverly Wax in the color antique. Once it's dry, I take a paint pen and write on it 25 cents. I painted this little crate off camera with rust -Oleums. What color is it? Let me look. It's called Serenity Blue and I'm making a messy bow with just the scraps that I had at hand of ribbon and twine and I'm tying them together. I add it to the crate. I'm adding the little sign. And then I add some small pumpkins from that fall potpourri stuff that I found at Dollar Tree. And of course I like to make it look a little bit rustic so I distress it with my distressing ink. I filled this crate with some pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and I think it turned out so cute. The crate was a dollar and the ribbon, the little sign, paint, those were things I had on hand. So the pumpkins were a dollar that I put inside the crate, so total for this project was about two dollars. Any wine lovers out there? This is a great way to use those corks for a fun project. I started by gluing two together, a set of three together, and another set of two. And then I glued one of the sets of two on top of the set of three and the other set on the bottom of that set of three. To finish this off, I glued a twig to the top for the stem. I added some, uh, added a green pick, a leaf from a green pick that I had on hand and I added some Spanish moss. I painted one side of the pumpkins orange. I guess I could have painted both sides and maybe I'll go back and do that. I don't know, but that's it. I love these and you can actually make these a lot larger if you'd like, but these are the perfect size for me to add to my tiered tray. It's hard to come up with a price since the wine corks, the Spanish moss, paint, twigs, and the green leaves were all things that I had on hand in my stash, but these were definitely less than $5 though. I love how all my projects turned out today. And don't forget to check my description box for all the info on BB Crafts and the playlist and the host for today's videos. Thanks for joining me y'all. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.